you ready? Time for peace and love and fun. Time for crime and violence done, yeah. Come together, make we make it right. We can do it if we all unite. Can you imagine had I been abused or murdered? I would not be standing here as Prime Minister. Minister of National Security would not be sitting there as Minister of National Security with security behind him again. <laughs> and all the children who are here, and those of you who take the time to come to participate today, would not be here. And so our resolve to end child abuse must be strong. And I want to send a message loud and clear to all Jamaicans. Don't cover up child abuse, whether it is happening in your family, or your neighbors, or in your community. We have a responsibility to protect the diamonds, the gems given to us by Almighty God as gifts. The future leaders of this country, the girl that you abused yesterday or today, could become the next Porsche in Jamaica as Prime Minister and as Member of Parliament. Or the next Peter Bunting, the next Commissioner of Police, the diplomat that will represent Jamaica internationally. Don't shield your wife, mother, father, husband, friend, sweetheart, sugar daddy, brother, uncle, neighbor, or friend if that person is hurting a child or inappropriately involved with a child. We must report child abuse to the police and especially the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse is Oka. The Child Development Agency, the Office of the Children's Work Advocate, and the Office of the Children Registry. And so, ladies and gentlemen, my commitment to fight for the welfare and well-being of our children is well known and will continue. I can't help it. I love children as they love me. <laughs> we have revised existing laws and enacted new ones to protect children from abuse and violence. The legal framework now provides harsher penalties for offenders and holds parents and institutions accountable for the safety of the children in their care. The agencies and institutions to monitor and protect the welfare of children are being strengthened. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, students, my children, the government's efforts at economic growth and job creation with special emphasis on economic empowerment for women are geared toward creating the economic climate that assists in the protection of our children. The social intervention programs such as PATH are creating greater opportunities for the sustainable growth and development of Jamaica's children and youth. I commend the Ministry of National Security, headed by the Minister, for leading this process that involves all sectors and stakeholders. I commend the churches, other faith-based organizations, community groups, the private sector, non-governmental organizations, ministries, agencies, and many other individuals and organizations who are active participants in the UNITE for change. Let us unite for change. We have to change what is happening to a number of our children in this country. It is our responsibility. If we fail them, we will fail Jamaica. And the next set of lawyers and doctors and architects and engineers and uh, practitioners of the media Prime Ministers, Ministers of Government, 
name it, our educators. I want to thank you who are here today to register your support. Thank you for caring and investing your time and your energies. The work of Unite for Change is already bearing some fruit, having some positive impact. Today's call is for every Jamaican to become more active as volunteers to protect our precious gifts, our gems, the children of our country. I encourage all of us to continue to work at building a Jamaica that is safe, peaceful, and prosperous. A Jamaica that cares for and protects its children. A Jamaica in which our children can enjoy their childhood years and grow up to become great men and women. And I know where I was sitting here. If we did not have loving, caring parents, perhaps we would not be in the position that we are in today. And we should thank our mothers, fathers, grandmothers, and grandfathers for the nurturing, the caring, and also our communities. Because when I was growing up, I was the daughter of the community. Not just Miss Minna's daughter or Mr. Simpson's daughter, but a daughter of the community. I look forward to the positive developments that will flow from today's gathering. God bless you. God bless the precious children of Jamaica. Land we love. Thank you. Are you ready? Time for peace and love and fun. Time for crime and violence done, yeah. Come together, make we make it right. We can do it if we all unite.